hi guys i'm currently at my appointment this is my first treatment that i'm getting done for my acne scarring and this is the first before that i'll show you i'll show you guys after i get done and tell you guys all about my experience but this is how my face is looking currently there you can kind of see the shadows of my scarring my face is like not smooth whatsoever and honestly like yeah you can see it right here my face is pretty much all scarring now it's not really any active breakouts and if it is it's super minimal so i will check in with you guys afterwards and update you on how my face is looking so i guess we'll see i'm going to be doing this for three times once a month they have to be spaced out four weeks apart so this is going to be my first time it is june right now so i should be finishing in august uh hopefully everything goes okay but i'm a little bit nervous to be completely honest with you i'm not sure what to expect but the woman said to get here an hour beforehand just so she could numb my face up Okay, I just got out of my first micro needling session and it was awesome actually. I really liked it. My face is not even that red. Like, re I mean, it just looks like I got really bad sunburn. The woman who did my face is absolutely amazing. I really love her. She has a great personality and she made me feel so comfortable. I was really like afraid she said I didn't flinch at all. It didn't hurt. It just felt like something was on my face. I mentally knew that it was a needle, but it wasn't really that big of a deal. I really, really like it. I need to stay out of the sun for three to five days which is no problem i just need to apply a lot of sunscreen wear a hat do all that kind of stuff but i'm like really excited to see the results i'm going to be coming back two more times to get this done and she's also going to do some dermaplaning as well i'll check in with you guys in the next like three or so days and just you can see what is going on with my face uh how long it's taking me to get rid of the redness but so yeah i'll check in with you guys soon hi guys it's officially been one day since i got microneedled i just wanted to update you guys and show you the redness of my face it's not as bad as it was yesterday it's still noticeable though uh, and i just wanted to tell you guys what i can and can do so basically i have to avoid the sun for three to five days i can't exercise for 24 hours i can't get waxing or laser treatments and if i'm outside i need to wear sunscreen so i have been wearing sunscreen i have this neutrogena age shield for your face it's really good i've been using this for a long time the spf is 110 i'll link this sunscreen down below but i can't wear makeup i have to drink lots of water which i already do no problem another thing that i wasn't told to do but i'm doing anyway is changing my pillowcase every day and i normally change my pillowcase every time i wash my hair because it's like you're getting the dirtiness on your pillow why like why i'm gonna change it every night for the next five days just because i don't want any bacteria getting into my skin that doesn't need to be in there because my pores are super open right now and they're just absorbing anything i put on them so other than the sunscreen i'm just going to be putting on massive amounts of lotion because my face is like obviously irritated and it needs like that moisture so check in with you guys tomorrow you can see how my face is doing hi so it's officially my second full day after getting micro needling and i don't want to seem crazy but i feel like there's already been a difference which is absolutely insane i'm not as red as i was but i'm still a little bit red it just looks like i got sunburn my face right now is just like super dry other than that it's really not that bad i know that they, like i'm having a lot of scarring in like my chin area but on my cheeks it seems to me that it's already smoother which is crazy because it's only been one session i'm really excited to see the results on this also, I just wanted to quickly go over how I felt when I was getting microneedled. At first, I was really, really nervous, but it kind of was not even bad at all. I kind of enjoyed it, and I'm excited to go back and get it done again. I forgot my camera, but I'm going for dermaplaning. It's officially been two weeks since I got my first microneedling done in my face. I think there's a big difference. We're going to see after dermaplaning today what happens. Let's go now. Boom. I can't believe she just did this dermaplaning to me. So basically she just scraped off all my dead skin, little hairs, anything that's in there. And then she extracted a few of my blackheads just so I wasn't damaging my skin. I don't know. I see a huge difference. This is honestly crazy to me. I know I'm super red right now, so you can't really tell, but the amount of scarring that I was having made my face look so lumpy and almost like I always compared it to the moon. And now it's like they're not even there. I know that my face is like a little bit puffy, but really who cares? Like if you're going to get these results it's honestly crazy coming from someone who always suffered from cystic acne it's just like is even real is this even actually my face all right good morning hello friends today i'm gonna be doing my second out of three microneedling sessions and i'm really excited actually i really honestly do see a difference in my face i want to show you guys up close 
let me know if you see a difference also but here's my face up close I know that there's a bit of redness but you can like clearly see that there's only a few indentations over here yes I do have some pimples because I've been actively trying not to pop them just because I I am getting this service done. I really want to get the full effect, so I'm really, really trying. And then on this side, you can really see that, yeah, here I have the indentations as well, but they're really not that bad. I really feel like my freckles are popping way more now than they were beforehand. Luckily, she took a before picture, so I'm definitely gonna have that for this video so we can compare each time she's done something. Last week, I caught up with you guys. She did dermaplaning. My face is baby smooth still. I am honestly so impressed. There's my face. Up close and personal for you. Okay, hi everybody. I'm here with Corinne, my esthetician, and hi. she did such a great job on me today. Look, I'm so red, but this is how I look right after. So thank you. I appreciate you You're so very much. welcome. I enjoy our time together. So, okay, tell them the first time you kind of went a little bit lighter and then this time you went in deeper. So because you got such a great result after the first treatment, oh, I went you. a little deeper because I knew that you would be comfortable with me going a little deeper and you, we have more of a relationship mm -hmm. now, so you trust mm -hmm. the process. And I really want to get rid of what we're working on. So I went, you numbed for an hour and I just did extra passes over the areas of concern this time, which is why you're a little more red yeah so, and it, i didn't even really feel like it wasn't even a difference compared to last time like it felt exactly the same it doesn't even hurt the numbing cream we have yeah. is really good so you don't feel anything you just, it just feel feels pressure. like a pencil yeah like a mm -hmm. pencil eraser maybe like pushing on your face but it doesn't hurt at all so definitely if you want to come here dm me on my social media and i will hook you up thank you bye guys bye good morning i just woke up and this is my face so it's been actually less than 24 hours since i got this done it's still super red but it's really not the worst ever so today i'm gonna stay out of the sun as much as i can put on a lot a lot a lot of lotion because my face is so dry so it just like sucks it up right away and that's about it i can't sweat for 24 hours so i'm probably gonna work out after the 24 hour mark it's my last session and i'm getting numbed and i'm so excited i will keep you guys posted these results are crazy I'm filming with a white background just to show you how red I am right now. It is the night of my last appointment. Corinne went in super deep this time to try to make sure she got everything out. I am so red, but it's going to be worth it. She said I should see my results within about three months, my full results. I'll give you guys an update in three months, but for now, the redness has reduced significantly, but my face kind of is hot. So I just put on some moisturizer, hence my shininess, and I will keep you in the loop for the rest of the weekend and let you know what happens because I am so excited right now. Day after face, uh, here it is. So it's been 21 hours. My face is still really bright. I'm just making sure to moisturize, drink a lot of water, put a lot of sunscreen on. And yeah, so tomorrow you'll see, will it be this red? Will it not? And it's also, it's also hardish. And then down where she has done a lot, it is scabbing a tiny tiny bit that's all hi again it's in two days since i got microneedled look at my face it's super peely right there but i'm using this super calm moisturizer and i like it but i need so much of it because my face is just soaking it all in we'll see when the redness fully dies down maybe tomorrow hello again everybody it's the next day and my face is like way less peely if you can see that She's looking extremely smooth today. I think it's because of all the fresh skin that just came out. I'm supposed to go for dermaplaning later on this week. It's my last time. I'll let you know how that goes. I'll probably check in with you then. The majority of my redness is gone, which is good, but this is definitely the longest it's lasted and the most I've peeled. So I can tell that this was the deepest she had gone, but anything for those results. So I'll see you soon. All right, Jumbo friends. So today I got dermaplaned again. My face is officially done. This is the final result. And I'll show you guys like the before and after pictures, but I am just really, really, really impressed. Although it's still a little bit lumpy, she said that the collagen is still gonna be coming in for like three months. People have actually even been noticing like, wow, your face looks a lot different. And I completely agree. Thank you, Corinne from Lombardi Plastic Surgery for 
helping my face so much. You're the best. If you guys want to follow her, I'll leave her handle down below and I'll tag her on my Instagram. I'll also tag Lombardi Plastic Surgery if you are in the Monmouth County area in New Jersey and you want to check them out as well. So thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you liked it, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below. If you have any comments about microneedling and my journey with it, make sure to comment down below and I will answer all of your questions. Enjoy your day and I'll see you in the next one.